Oh. Oh yeah, them guns, them guns. I see that. All right, cuz we go. Now at nine, more than 300 gunshots fired in rapid succession. The violent chaos picked up by several cameras in Milwaukee last night, and those living nearby tell Fox 6 they are lucky to be alive. And that is our big story tonight at 9, a parking lot shootout heard around the city. Hundreds of gunshots fired at Midtown Center, injuring two people and waking dozens from their sleep. Just the latest in a string of gun violence here in Milwaukee. We've got live team coverage tonight. Our Ashley Sears with reaction from city leaders. But let's start with Sam Kramer. And Sam, social media is playing a big role in this investigation. Yeah, I've been acting Chief Jeffrey Norman making it clear today. His detectives want to talk to anyone that witnessed the Midtown Center shooting. But video captured on cell phones then uploaded to social media, already providing an idea of what happened, something experts say is both problematic and beneficial. Oh. It's a sound Joshua Davis says he almost couldn't believe was happening right in front of him. A blitz of 300 bullets fired outside Midtown Center late Sunday night. I feel like I almost didn't get out of there uh, with, you know, my whole self, you know, but thankfully we did. Davis tells me he felt an instinct to start recording on his cell phone. Oh, yeah, them guns, them guns. I see that. All right, cuz we go. Just in case something bad happened. It looked like everyone was having a good time, you know, but, you know. As it get later in the night, you kind of got to watch out for what's about to go on. He uploaded the video to Facebook where it's been shared more than a thousand times, just as other clips have too. It's part of a trend UW Milwaukee's Mark Tasman says is driven by the power of everyday technology. It's been said that journalism is the first draft of history. Um, social media is a kind of also part of that drafting process, but, um, you know, you can think of it more as, um, you know, a rough draft. And like a rough draft, it comes with here. pros and cons. Sometimes we see only a clip of everything that happened. But once it's recorded, that video or just audio can be more reliable than someone's memory. That's empirical evidence that we can look back at the recording and the recording is not going to change every time we, oh, we yes. you know, we try to remember it. We, we have that. Now, Milwaukee police wouldn't say how many suspects they are pursuing as detectives are still following up on those leads. Again, if you witnessed what happened late, late, late last night, excuse me, they'd like to hear from you. We're live tonight outside Milwaukee Police District 7, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. It is amazing, Sam, the role social media plays every day. Thank you.